here's the real question. What policies are you telling them to support? Because if you want to actually attract the hood, I'm from Glenwood Road, all right? Born and raised. If you want to attract the hood, you have to give them something to believe in. What are you giving them to believe in? You can't sell them Trump. You can't sell them that. You can't sell them the policies that Mitch McConnell produces. You can't sell them the policies of the right, not the traditional right. So what are you selling the hood or urban communities in order to get them more involved in what you're trying to do? Well, what we sell, well, we don't sell anything, but what we talk about is getting actively involved, whether it's on a local level or a federal level. But for level. what reason, brother? What's the policy behind it? What are you what are you telling these individuals you would do for them if they get engaged in politics? What can change for them? What policy issue is at the center of that discussion? Oh, I can't do anything for anybody but fight for them. It's gonna take people getting actively involved and helping us fight together. But what are you fighting for, changes. brother? What yeah, we're, we're, fight, on, we're fighting to improve our community. There is no policy. To In what way? Trump Trump had the five hundred billion dollar plan that would have gave us an economic advantage. You got to be freaking But we don't me, have Joe. that anymore. We have Joe Biden Joe, that's giving ten billion it. dollars allegedly. Ten billion dollars. So when Joe, you talk about what policies that are going to improve our communities, if we're not talking about specifically. You know, just like uh, Joe Biden signed an executive order for LGBTQ, just like he signed an executive order for the Asian community. Where is ours? He said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Every single black person felt like they had something to prove, so they voted for Joe Biden. Now look, okay. what do we have? What do we have from Joe Biden? Absolutely very, nothing. What do we have from Democrats? What do we have from Republicans? Uh-huh. Absolutely nothing. Our best chance of having any type of economic empowerment was through Trump because he was not a politician. He was a guy that felt like you okay, know what? Okay, Joe, I'm going to have that vote for you want this, you want this, let's give you that. Are right, you starting to bloviate on the show? So first, let me give you a historical record. Under Democratic presidents, black families earn between eight hundred and fifteen hundred dollars more annually under Democratic presidents than under Republican presidents. That's from a twenty-eight year assessment of presidencies. Also, black unemployment drops mainly under Democratic presidents, and it actually increases unemployment of blacks increases under Republican presidents, and you get paid more per dollar or on the dollar under Democratic presidents traditionally than under Republican presidents. That is a 38 year study and assessment that was done by Pew Research. Now, let me get back to your original proclamation of the $500 billion. While you criticize Joe Biden, and Joe Biden is worthy of criticism for sure, I criticize Joe Biden on policies as well. While you criticize Joe Biden, are you forgetting the fact that while you say Donald Trump had a $500 billion plan for black people, Trump could have gave us that $500 billion plan when he was in office for four damn years and he did not. He was in office for four years. However, you have no criticism for him not delivering for black people, but you have criticism for Joe Biden who just got there. Does Joe this Biden's been in to? office for 47 years. He hasn't been in, has been in office come on, for man. over 47 come, years. Come on, he brother. Do you have any president. criticism? Do you he have any criticism for Donald Trump? For Barack Obama, who and, and again was fair a black criticism. person. Who black people brother, got in office, right? As I said. He had the House and he had the Senate and Barack criticism. Obama did absolutely nothing now, for black people. So I have a lot Joe, of criticism for Obama. I have a lot of Joe, criticism for Joe Biden. Okay, do you have any criticism for Donald Trump? Because yes, he shouldn't have let- talked so much trash on Twitter. But Donald okay. Trump is his so let me own go man. Back. But let he me was go doing back. something for us. He was let doing something back, for brother. us, and he got okay. the lowest total Joe. of black votes ever. Because Joe he Biden, wasn't Barack doing a damn thing based on policy. had the highest total of black votes, and you know what we got? Nothing. We got absolutely nothing from him. We got a, we got okay, a Joe, black family, a black man Joe, in office who did I not care do anything Mike. for us. So here's how this is working, brother. I'm definitely trying to make sure I engage with you on a policy level. But be respectful, okay? So here's the reality of what you're talking about. Under the presidency of Barack Obama and the vice presidency of presidency of Joe Biden, you saw an increase in black employment, black business owners, household median income, household ownership, black college graduates, funding for college graduates. And I still go on record and say President Obama was no friend of HBCUs because he did not move the needle with HBCUs, but neither did Donald Trump. See, I can give the criticism fairly where it applies. You have been a talking point after talking point on this in this conversation. It is a simple question. When it comes to policy, what policy can you point to right now that helped the masses of black people from Donald Trump. Which one? Well, we could talk about prison reform. That was a real good one. How many people, how many uh-uh. black people got out of prison on uh-uh. prison reform? I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you brought that up. 
the initiative under the White House served less than 1% is actually 0.02% of the black population, number one. Number two, that same Justice Department decided to eliminate Pell Grant programming that allowed prisoners to actually get a college education. That same administration decided to defund halfway houses that help with the transition of black inmates into free society. And that same administration decided to prosecute nonviolent drug offenses to the highest extent of the law based on a memo from the DOJ. So while you can talk about that one carrot stick initiative that helped a handful of black folks, we call that the microcosm. You have no policy from Donald Trump that talked or affected the macrocosm of black people in America. Well, the majority of the issues that we have when it comes to macrocosm that you talked about come from Democrats. I mean, like, look at every single law that's passed. You can look at the three strikes law. You can look at everything that everything from the Clintons. I'm completely to the against the three strikes even, law. Even, it was a even, stupid even, law. Even even your even your vice president right now, she was very strict on people, marijuana offenses, locked them up in jail, truancies, locked the parents up in jail, and then she gets on the Breakfast Club and brags about smoking weed. It sounds kind of and, and all of that. And, and remember this, uh, Joe. I have been highly critical. Uh, not only of uh, Vice President Harris when she was uh, a US Senator, uh, but also when she was running for president and now Vice President. So that's, I understand that point. But my point to you is this, you're unable to actually articulate any type of coherent message as it relates to Donald Trump. It seems as if you're drinking the same Kool-Aid. You talk a good game on one hand, but then when it comes to Donald Trump, it's like you completely lose your logic. You can talk about police reform, you say all the right things as it relates to what needs to happen in urban communities. You're connecting with the urban population, beautiful, great. But you really think Donald Trump delivered something for you? You really think Donald Trump did something for black people? Name it then. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Donald Trump, I mean, you can look at the lowest unemployment. I mean, that was a good thing. We can no, look once at again, the another misnomer. Another misnomer, so let me explain it to you. The administration used what's called a U3 rating system in order to determine their unemployment numbers. The real rating system is a U6 rating system. They used a U3 rating system that said if you work one hour in one survey month, you were considered to be employed. That's the rating system they used in order to promote that they actually had achieved some greatness in their employment numbers. The real rating system is a U6 rating system that showed black unemployment and underemployment between 18 to 22%. Beyond that, black people made less on the dollar less on the dollar under the Trump administration because of the DOJ's refusal to actually go after companies that actively discriminated and did not engage in equal pay for equal work. And beyond that, the household median income for black families in the United States of America dropped by $600 a year under the Trump administration. So brother, those are facts. I'm not arguing anything but facts with you. 